SnowRunner tutorial. Now this is for new players mainly, so if you are a new player or you just got into it, what we're going to do in this video is go through the SnowRunner menus and show you what's what in there. Because when I first started playing it was a little bit, uh, I did have a couple of days just to get my head around it and what was going on. So we're going to do this little video and show you what the crack is. So starting off, let's go to the menus. So what I've shown you on PlayStation where you hold down the, the big button on PlayStation is very similar for Xbox and that brings you to the main menu there which shows you your map and you see we're down at Black River now. Now it consists of the first one is your object, objects which shows everything listed down here. Now the first section there is for your trucks and your trailers. Now any trucks on the map will show up here and any trailers you leave out will show up here. You can see that one there, the skate flatbed it's not so bright where it's a little bit faded out well that one there it shows that because I have not got that yet as soon as you get that then it will highlight in, in you see it's slightly grey where it go white so if they're white you've already found them if they're grey you haven't found them so that's it for the trucks for the trucks and the trailers then you move down then we go down to the next stage which is all of these sections here in hang on let's go back up again and for the different buildings now we've got the garage which that's where you're going to store everything you click on that you can get into your garage instantly just like that easy as that so that's the garage I will do a separate tutorial on the garage because there's quite a few bits and bobs to go through so we've got the lumber mill there as well and that's where you're going to get your wooden planks from now going over to the warehouse, from the warehouse you can buy metal, well you're not buy, you can pick up metal beams, bricks, concrete blocks and service spare parts. Now if you go over to the factory, from the factory you're going to be able to pick up service spare parts and an oversized cargo. Where well, there's some missions you need oversized cargo and then the next one we've got is the service hub which is on the next map in Smithville. Right, so now we're over at Smithville and you've got the service hub. Now what you need to get from the service hub is service spare parts, the oil rig drill and the vehicle spare parts. Now if you need to go to a different map, when you click on it, it will come to the gateway. So it tells you it's on the other map, it's not on the map you're on at the moment. Then the next one after that, we'll, I'll show you the repair station. Now that, they're not on every map but that is just a repair station. You drive your vehicle into that and it instantly repairs it, which is uh, pretty cool. That's quite a handy one there. And then you've also got the logistics base, which is there, and that is for drilling spare parts. Now you notice on this one, we've got the warehouse there, which takes beams, blocks, and I can't think what the other one is. Now these symbols are gonna get changed because at the moment they're working on that because the symbols are crap. You can't really tell what's what. And when I was playing, that was the thing what just really did my head in. It really did. And we go on to that warehouse there and that one's got slabs and bricks. I think that one is. I could be wrong on that. So if you're looking for concrete slabs, that's where they are. But all you have to do is scroll down and click on the item and it takes you to that point. So it go to there and go to there just like that now we've also got the town storage as well and that sells different commodities as well where you've got the, the metal beams there and then we've got the gateway which is your gateway to all the other islands the other map sorry and then you've got the farm which is the other location on black river there so you just click on them and that sends you to those locations by the map you can't actually um, fast travel to these locations you have to go there yourself you can only fast travel to the garage we've also got the trailer store on there as well which you can see on black river that's over there and there's also the trailer store at the garage itself so if you if you need a trailer but that one's quite a handy one especially if you're going out to smith or dam you can grab it on the way out and jobs are good and then we move on to the next one and we've got the factory and you can see there it lists what commodities available on the factory which that's um that's pretty cool showing you all of that basically and then we've got the fuel station which some maps have got a couple of fuel stations when you see this one we've got the fuel station there and then the fuel station just over that way just there and then the other trailer store which is showing up at the garage now some maps have two trailer stores some only have one so you just got to bear in mind where they are take a note of it and then the next section we come down to 
are upgrades. Now every time you do a watchtower, it might show you one or two upgrades. It doesn't show you all of them, some of them are hidden. Now I've done quite a few videos showing you where all these are, I'm still short on a few of them, but that is all the upgrades there. It doesn't tell you what the upgrade is until you actually get to the location. So you get to the location and it shows you what the upgrade's for. So that's the first part of the map for your objects, your trucks and trailers, and your buildings and your upgrades. So simple as that. Then we move over to the next section, which this is your contracts. Now these are your main contracts you're gonna do for completing the task ahead of you to get on with the game. Now the one there you see it's got the little little symbol there, they are progression missions. So you need to do certain missions to progress. And I've already done a few of these missions there, but you can see that one power lines there, it's saying, oh, you need to complete winter stores and that's why it's locked. So if you do winter stores, that will unlock the next one. But that is your progression one. So you wanna look for those, those round yellow symbols and that is your progression. So we go down, so that's the Husky forwarding and all the different contracts we've got on there. Now Dyson Diesel is all to do with the um, oil drilling. That's most of their contracts there. And the same thing with those where you can see some of them are locked and they're locked because it says you have to do Lumber Mill Revival. Now Lumber Mill Revival, I think was back on the Husky forwarding. So you've got to bear in mind some of these on Husky forwarding, you can't do until you've done them on Dyson and the same with Steel River Township as well. So all you've got to do is keep an eye on these. And if it hasn't got a progression, if you can't, if it's locked, you just click on it and it tells you what you need to progress to the next one. So it's quite easy, but I did have trouble getting my head around this at first. Now, this is only relevant, so all these missions here, they're only for Michigan, basically. So all of these are for Michigan. They're not per map, because we've got four maps in Michigan, but it's, it's so it's for all of them. So it covers the all four maps. Now, if we go on to Alaska, Right, I'll show you the difference on there. We've got Alaska, same thing again, we, we've got all the different buildings. Now this one isn't unlocked at the moment, so you can see it's got no trucks and trailers. It only shows you the building and it's got the watchtower. As soon as you open the watchtowers, it will show you other things will come on the map. Now th there's the contracts for the Alaska and you can see they're totally different, totally different ones. So all these contracts are relevant to Alaska, Michigan and Russia and we've got Morrison Mining as well. So I'll just go over it and show you Tamar as well. And there it is, you see we've got all the different missions for that. Same thing again, these are all locked, so you have to do certain missions to unlock the next one. And most of it, you can see it's all progression with these points here. So basically none of these ones we can do here until we do the geological exploration. And you just search, all, do all those, and then it opens up the next point. So basically, if you go onto that one, it'll say, yeah, complete the uplink, and it always tells you which one you've got to do to complete before you get there. So that's pretty pretty easy, as soon as you know how. Right, let's go back to Michigan. So we're back on Michigan now, and basically we go on to the last one. Now, this one is the task bar. Now, the tasks are different tasks what you need to complete. Now, these are great for making extra money, pulling vehicles out, and you will make quite a bit of XP out of these if you just go around and get on with them. There's quite a few scattered around the map. Now when you find them, they will appear in the taskbar, where you can see at the moment there's quite a few tasks out there and they're not all listed. The reason they're not listed, because I haven't found them. As soon as you find them, then they appear in here. And it's as simple as you click on there and it tells you what you need to complete. Like that one, you've got to pick up five drilling spare parts which have been lost. Now when you click onto those items, it actually takes you to where the location is. Now we have had a few problems with it glitching out a little bit, so sometimes this doesn't work how you want it to. So don't take it as gospel that is telling the truth, because sometimes you know, it takes you to that same. But I'll show you another one. If we go to the trailer and you see it says deliver to tra trailer park, well it gives you the location of the trailer park there, and just there like that, and that's where the trigger is where, where you start it. If you drive to that point there, you can start it. Now you can also start it from the menu here, where you see start tracking, and you see it's on the right hand side, the top of the screen there. So it's pretty cool, so you don't need to get there. We do at the moment because we've got problems with the game where the taskbar isn't showing up. But if you're starting a new game, you should be fine. Just don't go to Russia at the moment because we have got issues in Russia. They will be resolved, and if you're watching this, 
months time then don't worry about it it should all be sorted so that's the trailer part saying to deliver to the trailer part and then we've got the curtain size trailer and it shows you where that is there so it's easy as that really basically they're all on there they tell you where to go and what to do deliver the truck to the farm there's the farm where's the truck click on that you've got to take that to the farm easy as that so it's, it is pretty good it shows you exactly what you have to do in there now the other thing about the map controls we've got the zoom in and zoom out now when you first start it only does zoom into a certain area it doesn't go in any closer than that and basically we have got quite a few different options where you've got the rotate and then basically we can spin around the map we can now i always find you've got the north symbol in the top there underneath the where it says michigan usa if you keep it north then that way you sort of know what's going on now any areas highlighted in black they're areas that you haven't uncovered yet and you can see i've uncovered a lot of this but these areas here i still haven't uncovered but as soon as you go near them then that will move away and it will go back to the normal color now on a single player only you can fast forward time you see the time there at the moment is 1406 if you press the triangle button and it'd be similar on xbox one as well and now we've jumped another six hours and it just does increments just like that so it's got six o'clock in the morning then one o'clock in the afternoon then in the evening and then back to midnight so it's quite good because if you go into your game so it's quite good because when you're in your game you can always i always try and start off first thing in the morning now the thing is is when you go into multiplayer you can't change the time uh, co-op sorry then you can't change the time so make sure you start the game off and it's early in the morning and then you go into co-op because whatever time you are starting on that's what it takes you into co-op and you cannot fast forward time in co-op it's wherever it is that might change in the future hopefully it will but at the moment the time is stuck so if you you start the game in the night time and you go into co-op if you, if you sorry if you've got the game in night time on single player and then you come out and go into the co-op game then it's going to be that time so bear that in mind so a quick one about the global map and there it is that's the next menu for that and we've got the r1 buttons and it just goes over and shows you all the different maps what are available now some of these maps they are locked and you have to unlock them by doing specific missions half the time a lot of them are progression so make sure you do all the watchtowers before you go on to anywhere else because you might not be able to get anywhere else and do a few of the missions as well where you find that north port you've got to do a, a mission to get to mountain river i think it was and it's the same with tamar as well that one you can actually go to from the start and there's quite a nice truck in dreamland so it's a decent one to go and get straight away as soon as you can get there now the other menu I wanted to show you was the one when you're in game where basically on is on PlayStation you push down on the cross pad and this brings you up and tells you everything what's going on in your game where you can see there's the overall percentage there and then it tells you percentage for Michigan percentage for Alaska and Tamar just like that and it also gives you you see we've got the vehicles fine there I've got five out of eight there watchtowers unlocked the eight out of 26 upgrades and un unlocked where I've only unlocked one at the moment and tells you how many missions you finish how many own vehicles payments received distance traveled seasons played in multiplayer and missions completed and payments received so that's pretty cool but it's nice to be able to give it all you can actually put it on all and see how you're progressing for the whole game so basically on that one i've done 10 percent and then you go over that's the wrong button that's the right button we go over to michigan and we've done 25 percent, and then all the others we haven't done anything on those whatsoever so pretty pretty simple now if you want to look at your contracts in this one you can scroll down and it shows you what your rewards are you can't join them from here it's just more of a reference so you know where everything is but it lists them all down there the same with the tasks as well all the tasks are all listed so if you want to have a look there is um, I think they're going to change this because there needs to be a little bit more detail in there now the contest I didn't mention about the contest but the contests are time trials and they're quite a good way to make money and rank up as well because some of them aren't much XP but a lot of them only take a few minutes to do so you can just get on with it you know not a problem like that's a quite a good one there which is on White Valley when you see it's 10,070 XP and 6,950 and if you can do it under seven then you'll 
you'll get gold for it every time but a lot of these missions you can do under the seven minutes so every sort of six seven minutes you're going to earn yourself 6950 and 10,070 xp which is can't be bad then the next section we move on to is the trophies which it lists all the trophies which trophies you've actually achieved at the moment and ones what are still currently available to you so there's quite a few of them Righto, well that's it for my first SnowRunner tutorial on how to use the maps and get, just getting your head around the maps. That should be everything you need to know about using the maps. Now check out my next video, I'll be showing you how to move vehicles into the garage and move them across the maps. And this SnowRunner tutorial, there's going to be quite a few. Then we're going to show you going through the winching, how to use a winching and going through all the different vehicles which are the best vehicles for you to be using and which ones you want to leave alone. Righto, thanks for watching SnowRunner tutorial on the PS4. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, I will see you on the next one.